Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over the 2020 Toyota 4Runner Nightshade Edition. The reason I wanted to go over this is it kind of has this like whole unique front end appearance for the 4Runner package which I think looks really good. But anyways, we're going to do a quick walk around on the Nightshade then we're going to take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for providing us with the 4Runner. Check out their inventory in the link below. Under the hood of the 4Runner, we have a naturally aspirated 4-liter V6. It goes through a 5-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 270 horsepower and then 278 pound-feet of torque. Fuel economy is 16 around town and then 19 on the highway. Let's finish things over on the front end. Obviously, you can see the hood looks pretty much like any other 4Runner. You can see the lights still have the same projector bulbs. Notice everything is all blacked out. Still get the little fog lights just down below right there. Still get the little sensor for the cruise control and all that just down below the Toyota logo. Parking sensors on top of it. But just look at the front end, okay? Remember the front end here, and we're gonna pop over and look at another 4Runner. So look at the front end of a regular 4Runner compared, this is also a nightshade. But you can see the difference. Like the regular 4Runner obviously has a lot more ground clearance, Whereas the Nightshade Edition, they kind of bring everything lower. Just, it's a much larger front grille versus a regular one. I mean, you guys, you can see the difference. We've got two 45 millimeter tires in the front and the rear, 20 inch rims, all blacked out as part of this Nightshade package. And other than that, black trim all throughout. I mean, you guys can see just, yeah. Let's head to the back. Here's the key fob for the 4Runner Nightshade. You got a couple functions, your lock and unlock. And yeah, pretty simple on that but let's actually head to the back so we can go over the tailgate function and all that so just regular tailgate just press this pull it up functions with a hydraulic struts obviously we can see we've got carpeting back here says forerunner got a little charging station which is a full outlet which i actually really like you can see one of the speakers for the sound system tons of storage space and again you can get a third row in the forerunner if you want or you can just get two rows as well but Decent amount of storage space. You can see that you, can, you got little cup holders for the rear passengers. Obviously, if you get the third row, this little strap is so funny. So you pull this to like pull the trunk down, but it just doesn't work. So yeah, just grab the top of the truck and trunk, not truck, trunk and throw it down. At the back, you can see the spoiler up top. I think it looks pretty neat. I love how the lights are kind of darker on this Nightshade Edition. All the rest of the badging, again, all blacked out. Receiver hitch just down below. Parking sensors in the bottom of the bumper. And, other than that, I mean, it looks pretty much like any other 4Runner, as you can see. TRD Pro, thumbs up. We've got this limited badging back here, which I've missed. Coming to the rear, we can see that there's nice soft touch through here. Leather with contrast stitch looks really good. Black trim right here, one of the door handles. Window controls, if you notice, the running board popped down. Now here are the seats. Obviously, you can fold them with this little control here. So like, boom, fold them down, or you can grab the little top thing right there obviously as well so if i grab that can put it back into place can recline them a little bit you can see the cup holder thing popped out got some cup holders right there cool functionality on that charging stations down below with the vents and then you've got your little netting right here and legroom is plentiful Kia Sentry right there one touch to lock it and then to unlock it you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle once it senses your hand, it'll unlock. And then you can see you've got leather right here again, more contrasted stitching above and below. All of your window controls up top, and that beautiful black trim. One of the door handles, memory seats with the 4Runner. You can see the seats here in the front. I really like these seats, so more contrasted stitching. Again, full leather with the perforations. You can see that you've got the seat adjustments just down below. And then this little area right here, you've got your pedal layout. These are for the running boards to turn them on or off power outlet obviously your windshield wiper stuff mirror adjustments light controls and then the steering wheel is going to be manually adjustable now to start with the forerunner just put your foot on the brake push the push start and then the forerunner will start right up you can see the gauges will do a sweep we've got some controls here on the steering wheel so you can see that's for the center screen i'll go over that in a minute pages button for the center screen you got your cruise control hiding out there behind the steering wheel um, sensor for the front like the collision warning lane departure assistance phone controls right over here voice commands and then the volume controls for the radio steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather and then i like this black trim here it actually feels pretty nice to the touch and you got your windshield wiper stock and then your turn signal slash light stock on the other side i have got our rpms on the left side and the right side we've got our speed and then you've got all those menus that you can scroll through so pretty similar to other toyota so like this is going to be identical to what's in the tacoma for example so pretty good setup most cars in the car industry have something like this in the center cluster this is a little bit more on the analog side but 
If you like things simple, then 4Runner is for you. Now I've got the center touchscreen display. I really like these radio controls, especially the one for the volume. It just has a really nice feel to it when you are turning it. But you can see over here, you've got all of your analog buttons on both sides. And this does double as a touchscreen, but then you also get the buttons, like I said. So you can see response time on it is pretty decent in general. It's got pretty good feedback on the screen. So like if I press audio, for example, I mean, it seems like it happens pretty quick. And then if we pop it in reverse, you can see the backup camera will pop up. No trajectory lines that turn with it, but you do get trajectory lines. So just below the analog radio controls, we have our analog controls for the dual zone climate. You can see all those controls are right here. I like that they have a separate screen for it. We've got a couple charging stations just down below. And then I'm actually gonna turn on the cooled seats. You can see you've got like a dial, you know, of how cool you want the cooled seat, but they have that for the passenger and the driver. We've got our shifter here for the five speed automatic. There is a dual shift mode if you wanna shift the gears yourself. And then this is like your little drive mode select. So like four wheel drive versus four wheel low, all that kind of stuff is on this. You have to push it to unlock the system. A little extra storage here, cup holder. That is for the rear window, which I think every vehicle needs this because that's just cool. Like the whole window that I wish my truck had that. Center console right here, got some nice stitching. You can open that up. You can see that there's a ton of space in here. Got a little charging station right there. And then if we press this, glove box open up, owner's manual is in there, pretty decent size. I like the trim above it. It actually feels pretty nice and looks pretty cool as well. So let's go over things up top. You do get a center if up here to let a little bit of extra light into the cabin, all of your lights. Obviously you have your A-track up here. Their descent control, stability control button is up there as well. Notice that there's a couple of auxiliary switches up here on top of that. Uh, but other than that, they keep things pretty simple up top. Yeah. Aha! This window sticker is already detached. So you can see EPA fuel economy on this particular one. Now here are all the options on this 4Runner. If you want to pause the uh, video because I'm not going to say all of these options unless you guys want me to go into full-blown auctioneer status. But here's your total price just below. $52,099 before any type of market adjustment. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we head off in the 4Runner Nightshade. So you can see visibility over the hood's pretty good in general. You can see visibility through both of the mirrors. And then the rear, it's got big square windows pretty much all around. So it's really easy to see out of this 4Runner Nightshade Edition. And let's set off. So initially setting off in this 4Runner Nightshade, let's talk about road noise and ride quality. So in terms of ride quality, just like all the other 4Runners, exceptionally smooth. Something that you could drive on a daily basis, no problem. I mean, it is just... It's a beauty to drive. And then in terms of road noise, you get a little bit of noise from that four liter V6. But I mean, other than that, it's pretty quiet and well insulated in the cabin. So now that we are turning here, let's talk about steering. So the steering on it's very light and effortless. It's pretty direct in general. This SUV definitely drives a little bit smaller than it is. So that's much appreciated. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I mean, it's just a light effortless steering rack. It's relatively direct and the 4Runner is pretty easy to maneuver. We're gonna get a little acceleration here with the 4Runner. I mean, it's enough power. I would never call this a powerful SUV by any means, but it's adequate power wise. You know, something like a V8 would obviously be awesome, or if they did something like an eight-speed automatic transmission or 10-speed. Lexus has a 10-speed, Toyota has an eight-speed, so I'm sure they could borrow something and put it in this 4Runner. Now, to wrap things up on this 4Runner Nightshade Edition, I really like this package, so obviously, like I said on the 4Runner TRD, if you want something that's a little bit more old school, obviously with the powertrain and then some elements on the interior, right? There's some upgrades like the touchscreen to an extent and all that kind of stuff, but if you want more of like an old school SUV, then the 4Runner is definitely a great option to look into, and where this night package stands is Realistically, a lot of people never take their 4Runners off-road, so if you're something that's a little bit more luxurious, and then also looks really cool as well, all blacked out, the Nightshade package is going to be the one to go for. And there we have it, everyone, the 2020 
Toyota 4Runner Nightshade Edition. I actually really like this package. Yes, the TRD Pro is still my favorite package, but I just love the front end on this Nightshade Edition. I think it looks super aggressive and just how big it is. I like the big imposing look. But anyways, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought. And then again, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Toyota here in Murray, Utah for providing us with the 4Runner. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.